Secretary of State, my job is to make sure our foreign policy delivers for the American people by taking on the biggest challenges they face and seizing the biggest opportunities that can improve their lives. No challenge more clearly captures the two sides of this coin than climate. Even if the United States gets to net zero emissions tomorrow, we'll lose the fight against climate change if we can't address the more than 85% of emissions coming from the rest of the world. America finds strength in the fact that we're able to acknowledge our imperfections transparently and to grapple with them openly. It's what sets us apart from our competitors and our adversaries and what allows us to advance the ideal of a more perfect union. Just as we defend human rights and hold human rights abusers accountable around the world, we will continue to strive to address racial injustice and inequities in our country, affirming throughout that black lives truly do matter. The United States sets out on the road to cut greenhouse gases in half, in half by the end of this decade. That's where we're headed as a nation. And that's what we can do if we take action to build an economy that's not only more prosperous, but healthier, fairer, and cleaner for the entire planet. As President Biden and Vice President Harris have made clear, this administration intends to do more than any in U.S. history to meet the climate crisis. What the United States can do at home can make a significant contribution toward keeping the Earth's warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. That's why we're raising our ambitions, as the president described. At its current pace, the climate crisis is set to drive millions from their homes, propelling mass migration that will undermine peace and stability around the world. Worst of all, so many of the world's most fragile states and regions are the very same ones that are most vulnerable to climate calamities. The good news is we can build resilience. We can stave off security threats and even generate economic opportunity if we work together and to deploy every possible resource toward this effort. No one is being asked for a sacrifice. This is an opportunity for better health, for great jobs with extraordinary opportunities of the future to grow our economies and to provide for much greater security for our nations. The roundtables contributed significantly to this sense of urgency. And it is a sense of urgency that really mandates that we raise our ambition as we head to Glasgow.